This is Mohobe Nuggets of Wisdom Podcast. We enthuse, we energize, we inspire, and we empower entrepreneurs and entrepreneurs of all stripes in BW and beyond. Hello and welcome to another episode of Mohobe Nuggets of Wisdom Podcast. Dear viewer, dear listener, always a thrill, a pleasure, and a source of great pride that we're able to bring you young dynamic entrepreneurs each and every time as well as uh, accomplished entrepreneurs been doing this now for four years and we're very excited by the time you watch this we'll have passed uh, some past 15 uh, probably 14,000 subscribers I uh, I need your help to get to 100,000 so that is our target so please we need your support we need your participation we certainly need for you to subscribe right away and to hit the notification bell. Welcome, my to, to another episode of Mohobe Nuggets of Wisdom featuring you. Thank you so much for okay. the invite. Okay. Major Net of Tell them about yourself. Um, my name is Janet Ofetotse. I am the founder of Lux Homes BW. Mm. It is a contemporary home decor company that manufactures candles scented candles, mm. diffusers, room and linen sprays, as well as cement decor ornaments. Um, in terms of educational background, I studied chemical engineering. I graduated in 2019 from Bust. Mm-hmm. Um, 20 years of, 28 years of age. Okay. Yeah. You graduated how long ago from Bust with a, a chemical engineering degree? It's been five years now. Okay. Uh, uh, all right. Um, why did you choose chemical engineering? I fell in love with it. I loved it so much. I loved the idea of manufacturing and understanding the process behind it. Mm-hmm. So that's why I chose to study chemical engineering. Mm-hmm. But I've always wanted to work in a mine. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes, that was the, the original. The original. Yeah. Uh, and I also found out that it pays. Okay. <laughs> so that's why I decided to study chemical engineering. Okay. Mm. But I enjoyed it so much. It's a very interesting course. Mm-hmm. Uh, Tell me the thought process that led you to venture into business, how it all started. Uh, Lux Homes BW. Mm. Um, I love home decor. I love plants, even though they don't love me back. <laughs> they always die. <laughs> mm. So just one day, I just decided to make my mother flower pots because she has a lot of plants. Mm-hmm. So we decided to buy um, cement and two bowls of different sizes. Bowls? Era. Mm. The, the bucket is it two mm-hmm. of different sizes so that we make a flower pot. Yes. It was a success. So I... Uh, I started watching YouTube videos on how to make flower pots and then I think I just div- diverted into um, cement ornaments like your vases, mm-hmm. your trinket trays mm-hmm. and then I decided to buy a mold online um, and then I procured white cement because it was so nice uh, rather than our usual cement Mm -hmm. the white one was nicer Mm -hmm. and then with the candles i got the inspiration from my husband he always used to buy scented candles from our famous or well-known retail stores so it'll be after burning the Mm bedisala so we always used to pack them into plastics so one day we just decided to make our own melt them and put them in a whiskey class and it was nice mm-hmm. we loved it and then i procured one mold again from the internet yeah candle it so when my friends visited they'd always ask oh how did you make that i wanted can you sell it for me mm-hmm. that's how i started yes i then um my aunt bought me a candle making kit with everything, your waxes, fragrances, measuring jars. She basically gave me a head start. Mm. So she bought it for me and that's how I started. 
Okay. But to never ring Babon Olemutan Mel with the nine two chemical engineering originally. I know it's not hanging out or do the rest of the bomb. It was there. It was there, but to never know you put all right. You choose Cosay, Tatayana, a Hasayabu Ray. But now I loved it. Mm. So it didn't matter what anyone said. So what class in both men and guy how to answer the board? I think five. Mm-hmm. We are class of sixteen. Mm-hmm. So women men are all of five. Okay. If I so remember yeah. properly. So on the hello le mo mo paloni ko class. You are always in the minority. <laughs> Error. Okay. Now let me ask about the business itself. Um. When did it start and how big is it? Tell us about the setup. I started operation last year. I created my first Instagram page and Facebook page last year after going through trials, study candle, and selling to my friends for feedback. Um, these are market ready, you can buy them. Mm. And then I started last year. And from last year until now, I have grown so much in terms of customers and product portfolio. Mm-hmm. I've added a lot of shapes, more candling tzami. I've added diffusers, something that I didn't have before. I've added room and linen sprays. Mm-hmm. All this was because of my clients. They would ask, don't you have diffusers? Your candle smells really nice. Don't you have diffusers? Mm. And then I decided to increase my product portfolio. Okay. Tell us about your your products. Can you take us through them one by one? Um, okay. I have mm. scented candles. Mm-hmm. Um, these types. Mm-hmm. They're sculpted ones. Different types Tell of Tell me shapes. about this one, the red one. Uh, that one is a ripped pillar candle. Mm-hmm. Yes, I can make it in any color. And okay. Um, the sizes vary. Okay. Um, that's the middle one. I have the smallest one and. What does the it larger take one. to make something like this, and what does it retail at? For um, how much? It. I use candle wax. Mm-hmm. I also add fragrances for the scent. I use that wick. Uh, for burning. Mm-hmm. And it retails at hundred bula. That mm-hmm. one. This one. Erva. Okay. And how is the market responding to it? Does it have a name? This particular one. It's it looks called a bit like a ripped, ripped r- pillar. Oh, okay. Because of those lines. Oh, okay. Erva. This is ripped pillar, and uh, and then let's talk about this one. What's it called? That one is the knot. The knot. Yes. K N O T. Yes. Okay. How does it get a name like that? Because of the look, mm-hmm. uh, okay. uh-huh. that's why it's called the knot. Okay, that Ama- one is 240. 240. Oof. There's a lot that goes into it's this one. one kg, that one. Uh-huh. Yeah. Tell me, how do you go about producing something like this? I use silicone molds mm-hmm. that I procure from China and then I buy my candle wax I buy my fragrances and candle wicks mm-hmm. I use different sized candle wicks for different candles mm-hmm. sometimes I double wick if the size is small like that one I used two wicks mm-hmm. is it expensive to to make these things or it's cost effective I won't, I it's won't it's go deeper it's cost effective it works out nicely it works out nicely mm. that's why my prices are so low Mm-hmm. I think they are competitive. They are just the same as those at our retail shops. Yeah. Yes, or even cheaper. Okay. You are a manufacturer, right? Error. What do you say to other people as we go through your products who are hesitant or reluctant to step into the world of manufacturing? All I can say is just that mm. you will never know. This started as a hobby, mm-hmm. but now it's a full-blown business. Do you have to be a chemical engineer to not do this? Not really. Why do you say that? Are you not using your chemical engineering expertise? I am. Yes. I am, but it's something that you can learn yourself. Mm-hmm. Error. Okay. You can go for a class. There's okay. so many people offering candle making classes, and I will soon. Okay. I'll start teaching people how to make these candles. Oh, okay. Error. 
as a side house, as another as source, another of, source of stream errors okay. of income. You don't think you will be creating your own competition? No. Why do you say that? Because ultimately, I want to be the supplier mm-hmm. of everything candles. Oh, okay. Tell me about this one. Um, that one is also the ripped. It's it's a new one, so I don't have a name for it. Not yet. Not yet. Okay. Um, the molds. You can't make your own molds. No, currently I can. I cannot. But you can. You can. You can if you want. But it's possible. It's possible. I can if I want. But there's no advantage to doing that at the moment because somebody else can do it fairly cheaply for you. If I can find somebody who can do it. Uh huh. All right. And uh, this one, um, what's it called? This one. That's the Christmas tree. Mm-hmm. Mm. It does look like one. Yeah, like Christmas is around the corner. Mm-hmm. So these are my festive collection, my okay. Christmas collection. All right. This one is also a Christmas tree number two. Era. Okay. Interesting molds you chose here. Eh? Now, when you order, you, you pick the molds on a catalog or you yes. just describe the idea and they do it for you? I normally choose from what they have. Mm-hmm. Yes. In a catalog. In a catalog. Okay. So, is it fair to say that you are a product of the University of YouTube? Yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me how that works. Um, I'm self-taught. Mm-hmm. You know, I didn't go for training for this. Some people do go for training. Like mm-hmm. I said, there are other people who offer candle making classes, but I taught myself via YouTube. Mm-hmm. Yes, I basically researched everything on YouTube. I watched the video on how they make those candles. Hundreds of videos. Hundreds of videos. <laughs> hundreds of videos. And yeah, make it clear that a lot of work is involved. Yes, a lot of work is involved. Mm-hmm. A lot of research is involved. There are so many types of works. You mm-hmm. have to research about those. You have to research about your fragrances. You have to research about your candle wicks. You use different sizes mm-hmm. for different candles. Okay. And let's only the candle wicks. Dinali the type is different. That those that are eco friendly. That those that are just candle wicks. Mm-hmm. So it just depends on what you want. Okay. Uh, and where do you get these different colorations? For instance, let's talk about this one that has red at the bottom and green at the top. Um, those are inspired by the um, Christmas colors. Yeah. Our Christmas colors get to green, red, white. So this is my festive collection. Yeah. I do have all the primary colors. I bought them with the candle waxes. So can I lead the color as so if you want pink, I make pink for you. If you want burgundy, I can... If, for instance, a company has its own corporate colors, are you able to design for that specific company a collection? Yes, I offer customization at that level. Okay. And if your colors are what blue and black. Yeah. I make blue and black candles for you. I mix them just like that in... One candle, can one candle in a blue, another in a black. Mm. Whatever you want, I can make it for you. Oh, wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. And now you've diversified a little bit here into diffusers or yes. and fragrances. Tell us about that side of your business. Um, diffusers are what makes your space smell nice. Mm. So the response that I got from my candle, from my customers, were that my candles smell really nice and they fill the room with the scents mm. so they just wanted to know if I can make diffusers mm-hmm. so I started researching about diffusers and where I can get my supplies it wasn't an easy process at all Why? I mean because you can't find them locally and then you have to consider shipping them from outside and now it comes to cost the shipping itself and buying from different suppliers so that you can try and then you find your best one. So it wasn't an easy process at all. Even now, I'm I'm still working on improving my diffusers so that they last longer. Mm -hmm. So I'm still 
into that process. Yeah. Yeah. Um, tell me about the process of putting it all together. Do you actually uh, mingle the liquids yourself? What's involved? Yes, I buy the, the base oils, the fragrances, the sticks separately and mm -hmm. the bottles separately. Okay. I ship them. Okay. Quickly, and then I mix myself. I follow the ratios of mixing mm -hmm. and then I test. Okay. And how do the two um, two businesses compare, by areas of business compare, candles versus diffusers? Right now, my best selling are diffusers. Mm -hmm. Because if you buy once, you are definitely going to come back for a refill. Mm. Yes, so my best selling products right now are diffusers, but they go together actually. How so? Because um, they are home decor products. Mm. Um, you'd want to have a diffuser and a candle for decoration. Yeah, Most tell us about this. Into take this one and explain it to the viewer what it does and how you went to talk about your product. Okay, um, this one is the 200 ml diffuser. Mm -hmm. The scent is fruits and roses. Mm -hmm. It is flora, floral. And uh, this one, it's trading at 200 pool. Mm -hmm. It comes with five or six reads, depending on the, the materials that I use. Okay. I follow um, the instructions. So Johanella, what the instructions say, okay. according to and your what suppliers I are what also in China or other Ever. parts of the world? Other parts of the world, which you don't want to mention now. <laughs> um, South Africa, China. Uh huh. Ever. Those are my main two. Okay. The Tell us about the the, the sticks. What, um, what with the sticks, I have two types. I have the white ones and the brown ones. Mm. These are wood with wood wicks. Mm -hmm. The brown sticks. Wood they what? Wood wicks. Mm -hmm. Wood reeds, I mean. Yeah, wood reeds. reeds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was trying to figure <laughs> that uh, out. Those are the wicks. These are the reeds. Yeah. Eh, so these are wood reeds. Okay. Um, compared to the black ones, the black and the white ones are fiber reeds. Mm -hmm. The two differ in a sense that the fiber reeds, um, they have a faster rate of absorption. Mm -hmm. So they diffuse faster. Your room will smell super nice, mm -hmm. but... Um, the diffuser won't last. Mm -hmm. okay. This one, um, it has an okay rate of diffusion. When you say it won't last, why? Um, my diffusers last for a month. So with the black ones, the fiber reeds, they can last up to three weeks. Mm -hmm. So it's a matter of choice. People pick them because of aesthetics. The black reeds are nicer. The mm -hmm. white ones are also nicer rather than the normal brown reeds. Mm -hmm. So I always tell my customers the difference between the two. But if you pick the black ones, um, they might not make your diffuser last. Mm -hmm. But the brown ones will definitely make it last. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can you explain to me um, this other product here, what it is and how it works? Um, the mirror tray. Mm -hmm. This one I just bought it from Oh, okay. No. Actually, I was going to ask you about oh, this product. This, mm -hmm. These are my trinket trees. You manufacture them? I manufacture them. Uh -huh. I started with white cement. Mm -hmm. I bought it locally. But now I'm using a form of resin called jasmonite. Mm -hmm. I saw that um, outside. I also use molds for this, mm -hmm. for these trees. What is so special about this product? These are nice. I mean, look at it. That, it's oh, okay. so nice. It has this marble effect. Yeah. I also buy the pigments for them okay. to create this marble effect. Okay. These are your candle trees. You put your candles so that they don't stain your furniture. You mm. can also put your um, diffusers and also use them as jewelry placement or your coffee max coasters mm. I actually what made coasters. you decide to to uh, to go into this line of side of the business as well to expand to another area um like i said after making that cement flower pot mm. while i was just searching on youtube these 
popped out of nowhere mm. and I thought they were very nice and they are versatile usage mm-hmm. so I decided to make the trays okay mm, a lot of homeowners use trays to put their home decor yeah. ornaments and that my customers responded very well to them mm. they bought them because they were flying they're flying eh? Mm. off the shelf off the shelves tell me uh, <coughs> what what then is the is the process involved um, I suppose I'm asking what machinery is involved in in, in actually manufacturing all these is it different types of machinery or is it one machine using different molds I'm working from home, so I don't have machines yet. Really? Yes. I use molds, silicone molds, and I use double boiler method mm-hmm. um, with a pot and my jacks. Just a pot at home? Just a pot at home. There's no machine involved? There's no machine involved. These are all handmade. Even the, the molds? Even the molds. Wow. Okay. I pour, I put the the wigs, pour mm-hmm. the wigs, um, let it, yeah, melt, and then I demold. Okay. Era. I mean, I saw you at the expo, and I thought, wow, this must be a, some big business, from some huge manufacturing no. outfit. All right. How was it uh, for you going to the uh, expo? Tell us about that experience and how it worked for you and the company. Um, the first thing that I attended was the u.s summit u.s africa host, summit. US africa summit that mm. was hosted at royal area that was yes, my in first Kukui. ever era. that was my first ever experience with such events the reception that i got from there was amazing people mm. didn't know about me london is to advertise the tata is again out there mm. so everyone was just shocked for it. how are you and Motswana doing this when we always buy these things from um, our local retailers in mm. South Africa. Mm. Why don't we know about you? Mm. The reception was really good. Mm. And then BITC, Ebenza, an expression of interest. And then I applied a Beba and respond to what I've been uh, accepted. What does that work? Expression of interest to do what? To exhibit at the global expo. Yes. Ever. Nababili had requirements at the morning. And I met all of them. Every couple, I said, it's sample. Then they let me exhibit at the global expo. And so BITC is, is a very important partner. Yeah, I'm here because of them, actually. Yeah. Okay. They are the ones that put me in the map. Wow. Because uh, I want to go there, yes. Africa summit. Mm. I went there under BITC. Mm-hmm. Okay. So, Kotluba Expo Lohone. The good thing about this expo is that I get to meet other entrepreneurs mm. and bump what to do, mm. the steps to take, how to grow my business. And I really appreciate that about these expos. I also meet potential clients and mm people from various sectors mm-hmm. they don't I didn't think I could fit into those mm-hmm. so like at the global expo a lot of I got new clients from um, Badilogy mm-hmm. era mm-hmm. Badilogy and Babango Barregala the office so I suspect you sold all your stock at the expo I sold mm. I sold I don't want to lie so like I said I met my target yeah this is the day one. <laughs> mm. So how do you propose to then expand and meet all the demand that is coming at you? Hmm. Um, I'm going to need machinery mm. for me to expand and meet the demand. I want my products more So what are you doing about that? Um, I have to sort out packaging because I get a, I need the barcode and I can't mm. so I'm still trying to sort out packaging for each and every product that mm. I have especially the diffusers so are you now at a point where you're turning away customers because you can't cope with the demand or it's no not, that not really I, I 
You can. I can meet demand. Okay. More the candling. Um, the those that I have that I have bought a lot of molds for mm-hmm. for the corporate gifts. Mm. Like that small one, that small candle. Sure. Let's talk about your products. Um, this one is usually used for wedding favors mm. and baby showers, as the gift. Yes. So these. I get a lot of orders. That's mm-hmm. one. Yeah. Boma four hundred, boma two hundred. Mm-hmm. So I get a little bit more to say in tea so that I can meet demand. Mm-hmm. So look, for any candle given time, I can meet the demand. Mm-hmm. But for diffusers, because hagi hagi misuigi the moods or anything else, I can meet demand. Mm-hmm. Two hundred orders or whatever number I yeah. can. So you offer uh, you personalized and customized service. Um, without mentioning names, can you give examples of where you're really happy, where you satisfied a customer and did something exceptional? Um, so far, I've had only one, oh, actually two corporate gifts. I've done for corporate, corporate gifts. Mm. Uh, in a lead. Mm-hmm. Yes. Okay, I'm, I'm sure they don't mind you mentioning their name. Yeah, I'm sure they don't. Yeah, I, I supplied them with candles and they were very happy about them. Mm. I also supplied organic skincare. Oh, those are my um, that's a company in which I'm a minority shareholder. Oh, really? Uh, as part of A and B Angel Network, Botswana. Oh, I think mm. she was curating. Um, Guest packages. So mm-hmm. I supplied her with the candles. Oh, okay. And she had specific requests about the scents. So I made sure that I used the scents that she wanted. Mm-hmm. I mm-hmm. have four main scents for my candles and for my diffusers. Just raise your voice a bit. You, you had how many? I have four main scents yes. for my candles and for my diffusers. Mm-hmm. But I also have other scents. Okay. Uh, so if you don't like the scents that I have, more my main sense. Mm. I love lemongrass and ginger. I have it, just mm. that I don't post it. So wow. Yes. Can you tell me um, your current scent mm-hmm. and I can source it for you? Okay. Uh. Now, what are your best selling products and why? At the moment, diffusers and room and linen sprays. Which, which ones are those? Um, where, where are the r- I mean, the room and linen sprays. Oh. You have one sample? It's at the car. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't brought it. I haven't okay. brought it. What, tell us about it. These are my best sellers, mm. the diffusers. Like I said, if you buy ones, what you are is most a room and linen spray? You just, pss, pss, pss. you just spray around your curtains or your bedding uh-huh. or around the room. Okay. It makes your room smell nice. Okay. I use the same scents as the diffusers and the candles as well. Okay. Ever. And it sticks to the, your, the f- um, yeah. The but curtains. the scents definitely won't last. Mm. Yeah, like a diffuser. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but it does. Stick. Does impress the customers. Does impress the customers. Wow. All right. I wish you had brought one, but anyway, let's carry on. Um, safety considerations. How is safety uh, approached by your company and how do you go about ensuring safety, not only in terms of the product quality, but uh, obviously in terms of your your employees? Um, I'm the only employee at the moment. But there are people who help you, isn't it? You do everything yourself. I do everything myself, actually. But sometimes my sister really? does help me or my husband helps me. Uh-huh. As I do everything myself, the marketing, the production. Is that sustainable long term? No. Okay. It's not. Yeah. Yeah. But we'll fix it. Yeah. So I make sure that I read the manuals for everything that I buy mm-hmm. and how I follow the instructions. I add the recommended amounts mm. because for fragrances, if you add more, they might irritate some people. Mm. So I always make sure that I add the recommended amount of fragrances. Mm-hmm. I also um, alert my customers get the safety precautions, especially for candles. Yeah. Ghana, that's fire. There's yeah. flames involved. Yes. Uh, the candle care tips that I normally 
give out with my mm. orders and get post happy on my social media. Okay. I always advise them to light the candle in view. If you go out of the room, you should extinguish the candle, put it away from children or pets. Should be away from flammable substances like curtains. If you just take those precautions, you'll be fine. You'll be fine, and definitely do not burn the candle for more than four hours. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because no, it's just that's the, the, rule. the recommended. Uh, if you time. burn more than four hours, what happens? Mm, your the, the the candle vessel can get too hot. Mm-hmm. Yes. And okay. You might burn if you touch it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And in terms of the um, the government uh, regulation and licensing, is the Ministry of Health involved anyway? Or are there any other people who have to certify you? Bob's. Bob's, yes. Yes. I'm currently working with Bob's to make the standard for candles. Mm-hmm. I'm part of the committee, so me being part of the committee... <laughs> I don't get to pay, so <laughs> that's a bonus. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, but I'm working with Bob's. Okay. In making Meaning that then, uh, is there like an association of candle makers or, or what? Are there a number of you? I think or they have selected a few that they managed to identify. Uh-huh. They're the candle makers. So you, you have to meet certain requirements for Bob's? Uh, for, for Bob's certification? The we they are currently making the standards for candles. For oh, okay. is the wick is in Zinyang, wax in Zinyang. Yes. We're always. going through all that. We're going through and all the Ministry that. of Health is not involved? No, because well I want to, to go and cancel Gibatawira um trading license. But my substances or my products, they do not involve anything that can harm the environment. Mm. They, I don't use any chemicals, so they're safe. Mm-hmm. Okay. No chemicals involved? No. Even in the making of the fragrances? Uh, that's just alcohol. Yeah. But no chemical is involved. Okay. Yeah. Now, now, as the holidays are coming closer, you know... Um, do you have a strategy for reaching the market during um, this time? Yes. Mm. Like today, I brought my festive season or Christmas collection candles. Yes. With the Christmas colors. Mm-hmm. I am soon to post them or to launch them. Mm-hmm. I'll be making packages that gift for Christmas. Uh, they might involve a candle a diffuser and a room spray. Yeah. Yeah. So I want to make those packages. And then I also cater for all the holidays. Mm-hmm. My first was Valentine's yeah this Nikki Lady package using Valentine colours like your pink and your red. Mm-hmm. People mm-hmm. really love them. It's in the candle, diffuser, your wax melts, um wax banner. Wow. Era. So yeah. there are those packages also for birthdays or for anniversaries. Uh-huh. And, uh, these products, they set the mood. Okay. But era. The government is now talking constantly about mindset change and the need for us to, you know, get into the market and be entrepreneurs and so on and so forth. Um, do you have anything as a young woman? who is a trailblazer in the manufacturing space to encourage um, those who are hesitant, those who are fearful? Well, in terms of mindset change, um, there are a lot of us graduates who are not working yet. I'm learning how to to this date. Yeah, now that I've decided to focus here mm-hmm. because I can see the future thing and this is where I'm at now mm. but I've decided to make this a business because I wasn't working mm. so if you are were you looking for a job I was mm-hmm. I was mm. so if you are but you're not glad that you didn't find one right I'm sure you are glad you didn't I'm find glad one. actually <laughs> <laughs> okay I'm glad because being your own boss mm. is amazing mm. 
So, hi, look at how you so and all of don't stress. Think about something that you can do. There's so many ideas that you can do, and a lot of us or a lot of young people they stress a lot about funding. funding. But you can start with something that you can fund yourself. You can or bootstrap, yeah. Era, or you can just ask your family to help you fund it. Start small. Mm. If you have an idea, start. Mm. Era. You will see where it goes. Okay. Era. Were you not yourself, uh, didn't you have some trepidation, some fear at the beginning? And how did you overcome it? I think with this, because it was like a passion project, I wasn't thinking business when I started. I was thinking, you know, I'm doing something that I love, mm. making myself candles, I making myself flower pots. But I think if you think business hurts us, hurts us, because now you have to think of the market. Mm-hmm. Right now, my challenges, I don't have a place of trade. But people want to see the candles. People want to smell the diffusers. So it's scary in that part because you have to impress your customers and you have to get, give them what they want. Yeah. yeah. You should talk to folks at Mohobi Incorporated to see if they can offer you some space okay. to Erla. rent. Erla. Yeah, we, we're in the business of of taking care of people like you. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, You're looking for a space how big? Oh, you still don't know. Um I I want a place of operation. Can I get a lot more like being so yeah. I don't have space. Have so it's forcing me to work by strictly by order. Mm-hmm. Because I don't have space to store my products. So what as about machines that you might require for manufacturing? Did you identify such machines? Yeah, I did. You you've been to China or wherever? I haven't been. Okay. I have um, a friend there who was studying the yeah. Kenan Tusang Tus was everything that I want. Oh okay. Era. So you have a partner? Basically. I have a partner basically. Yeah. Era. And w- what sort of machines are required to do the molds or maybe to to help I you want grow? I want a machine ordering the candle. Mm. Like your normal type of candles, the white ones. The white ones. Mm. I want to tap into that space as well. Not only scented candles for the core, mm. but I also want to make candles. So that's the machinery that I want at the moment. Are those machines not available in South Africa? I don't know. Okay. We're still going to do some uh, research. Yes. But it's okay. already thing with China. Okay. Yeah. So, what would you say in a nutshell are any significant challenges that you've had to overcome to get where you are? Uh, it would be lack of money. Mm-hmm. I think in Kibik Sitzigalakala, if I had funds, mm-hmm. but because I'm finding this myself, Hoslo, mm. I'm not where I'm supposed to be or where I want to be. Right now, I need money for packaging, for machinery. So those are some of the my some of the challenges that I have. Mm. Also, a place of operation and a place of trade, and happy mm. your one doing everything. So mm. I it's you and your partner in China. It's me and my partner in China. Mm. But in mm. the yeah. so now I have to do everything: the marketing the production so if i can at least hire one person mm. we're going to sank our production mm-hmm. so are you able to grow the business to such a point where you can afford to hire people yes. or your plan is to apply for seda or go to fnb and places like that for funding I'm considering that mm-hmm. I'm still working on my business plan at the mm. moment, my mm-hmm. financials, so that I can approach financial institutions that can either fund or lend money. Yeah. How are you leveraging social media to, to grow your business and your brand? Social media is my only trading place. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> I sell my products through Facebook, um, Instagram. I get those orders through Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Mm-hmm. Like I said, I don't have a place where customers can come and see, but I post them on Facebook, mm-hmm. and that's where they see their products, and that's how I'm getting orders. Mm-hmm. Ever. So that has been very useful. It has been extremely useful for my mm. business. Any kind of technology or e-commerce um, that you use? Ah, not at the moment. Mm. I'm still working on a website. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, and what about uh, regionally? If you're thinking outside South Africa, uh, places like Zimbabwe, what is the plan there? Well, my plan is to firstly focus more marketing on Botswana. Mm-hmm. Right now, I'm more Gaborone here. Okay. So I need to work on getting my products go Palape, go Francis Town, go Maung. That's when I can think that far. Yeah. But while I was at the Global Expo, I had people from Zimbabwe and South Africa who really liked my products. Mm-hmm. I got their contacts and on how my products can get there. Mm. Maybe they can be my, my business partners, mm. but focus on other markets. Mm-hmm. Okay. And now in terms of um, your f- long-term plans, if I was looking 10, 20, 30 years, what, what, what do we have? What's the crystal ball telling you in terms of the future? Well, like I said, I want to be the supplier of all things candles. Mm. So that means having my own store mm. where can where customers can walk in, choose their own fragrances yeah. and their own waxes so that they can go and make candles for themselves. I also want to see my products in all over Botswana, modern so retail shops. So which which of the three products would you say are giving you the best returns? By that I mean, shouldn't you focus on the one product that is doing very, very well in the market uh, and get that one to give you traction? Yes, I'm focusing on diffusers. Diffusers. Because uh, I'm taking about the long packaging ah. right now. Like right now, I'm using paper bags. Okay. But I want them to be modu box thing so that they can be attractive modu shopo. Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm working on diffusers so that I can get them out there and so that they give me traction. Mm-hmm. Okay. So your hope is to get into to retail. Error. You don't think you can get to people directly? Sell direct to the customer? Well, I can via a website or me having my own shop. Mm. Mm. Yeah, that's why I'm asking you about the long-term plans. What are they? Specific long-term plans. Specific long-term plans. I want to increase my product portfolio. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of home decor products that I want to do, but I'm limited right now because of funds. Mm -hmm. But finally, a lot of products Mm -hmm. that I want to add that are in the pipeline. Mm -hmm. So literally, they're going to require me to have a store, Mm -hmm. like my own shop, Okay. So that I can have all Lux Homes products in one place. Okay. But there's a lot coming. Uh-huh. Uh, definitely. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to know. I think um, the next time you're on the Nuggets, you'll be you'll be having your own uh, factory employing 300 people. Error. Yeah. That's the plan. <laughs> now, um, do you have a question for me at this point? Um. Yes. Mm-hmm. What's your take on mentorship? You know, how does the relationship between a mentor and a mentee work? Do I get to ask the questions, or what yeah, does the well, based on my experience, uh, there are two tracks. One is um, where you know that the mentor is available, and you come and ask questions as and when. Mm. In other words, hands on, hands off, as it were. That is a setup we have with Angel Network uh, Botswana, where we help onboard you as a potential investor. We help you set up. Mm-hmm. We give you the skills, uh, basic entrepreneurial tools. We go through even um, guidelines for how you can uh, 
you know pitch your product or your service how you can appear before you know potential invest investors and get them to you know to buy your product or your service or to be part of it or to buy into your company so we help you as angel network Botswana to do that mm -hmm. so that's one model the other model is the one that I use for my um, real estate mentorship where uh, different people pay a certain amount mm -hmm. um, and over a period of six months they come to classes I prescribe material it's, it's more or less a combination of school and mentorship mm -hmm. and then when they do have special challenges they can then arrange for a one-on-one -on -one. so those are the two models that I've personally adopted that seem to be working in this market Oh, okay. Mm. All right. Yeah. No, Your we'll question talk has more been after answered. This. It yeah. has been answered. Yeah. As we wrap up, um, can you leave the viewer there with one uplifting message, some, something motivational, something encouraging? As we well, yeah. if you have an idea, if you want to be an entrepreneur, just start. You know, I always advise people who are working to have a side hustle some businesses they don't require you to do much so if you can think along those lines what you can do while you are working to have extra income so just that you know if you have an idea just invest in it you know your energy and definitely your money that's how um, businesses are born you have to invest your energy, your money, everything in it. So if you have a business, an idea, just that. Mm. Yeah. Like you did. Like I did. <laughs> <laughs> Where can uh, the listeners find your products? And um, how can they stay updated? At the moment, um, they can find my products more Facebook. I post pictures there, Instagram, and also TikTok. Tell them where, which would Um. Facebook, it's Lux Homes BW. Instagram, Lux.Homes BW. TikTok, Lux Homes. And in all these social platforms, there's mm. my WhatsApp number there. It has the catalog for mm. all my products. The prices are there. And mm. all the specifications for my yeah. products are there. Okay. And also, just follow the pages for new products that I'll be bringing so that you stay updated mm. with everything that's going on Molax Homes. Yeah. yeah. Before I let you go, I like talking a lot about greed, about perseverance. In fact, that's the title of my book which is coming out fairly soon. What do you do when it's tough, when you feel like quitting? What do you do as a, as a young entrepreneur to make sure that you don't become a quitter? and you go through your business even when things are, are tough? <laughs> I, well, I pray. <laughs> yes, I pray to God. What is mm. do What do I do? And then um, I'm lucky because I have a very support, supportive husband, my mother and my friends. They're the ones who keep me going. Mm. You know, they even believe more in my in this business than me. Mm. You can't quit. Mm. Business it has a lot of potential. Mm. So how do you feel that when I talk to my friends or So it always helps to again to people who are close to me and on a daily they mm. encourage me. They encourage me to lose a focus. Have you ever had really a, a devastating situation that you can share? And how did you pick up yourself up from that? Well, I think when I started, uh, the sales were slow. I picked up the kids and I moved to shop on the key color products. So it's the key feel that I don't have a lot of money. Um, like. That we know. They sell these products. Mm -hmm. They have candles. They have diffusers. So I can't do this. I can't compete with giants who have retail stores all over Botswana. I can't do this. I can't compete with stores all over Botswana. They long rather all over the world. Sometimes I can't feel like this is not going to work. How mm. am I going to compete with that store? Mm. You know? And also... 
in terms of pricing you have to make it make your 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 product affordable and competitive let's say go to shop so that has been something say long had a sun stress at that because because we get on your product then chow one two one two lobo never is in see when all run a unique so yes yeah so how do you overcome that how do you deal with that i think hella knowing hurry my products are quality and my customers will always prefer my products mm. that what keeps me going mm-hmm. at all right you've been a wonderful guest you've done very well thank you so much for showing up thank you and uh, sharing so generously we appreciate your coming thank you so much okay. thank you for having me yeah. Yeah.